I put my phone on uh, quiet mode so I can record and not have it go do doot do doot do doot or any noise. So I got two pizzas with my buddy who came over, well, met me at Cub Foods, went over to uh, Pop and Murphy's, and we got two pizzas. The thing is, I didn't know how big they would be if I needed a second person or what, but I figured, you know what? Buy one, get one free for this coupon I have for a $20 booklet. Sounds pretty awesome. So here's my first pizza. It's called the Supreme Garlic Artichoke Whatever Pizza. And here's my second one. It's a cowboy pizza. There we go. Perfect. And it has jalapenos on it. I asked for it that way. It is the bomb. Diggity. Try to show you a better view of this pizza. There we go. That's what the pizza looks like. Putting that one back in the refrigerator because I'm pretty sure I can only eat one. And so I'm very sorry, dude, but I have to include you in this because I've got a couple other videos of you. One of with the beehive that I tried to scare you, but it didn't really work. And the second is a creepy one of you just hanging around when I was dead tired. Creepy. And then you stood by my back door waiting, like, what's going on? Should I go? Should I come? And I'm like, oh my god, this is creepy. I don't want to say, hey, come and have some pizza after you're done doing yard work, but, dude, you're making money off of us. I'm not going to supply you in food. I'm just not going to do it. I did it before because you really did put in a lot of freaking yard work and help, but you're just pulling weeds. I'm not actually grabbing my whip out and saying, whoops, go boy, go. It's more like, you're here to get paid to do a job, but I'm going to feed you and give you everything to drink and, and eat on the job? That doesn't seem right. Oh, and then we were going to go out and eat and I'll spend like 20 bucks on myself. And what, you're going to get some of my leftovers? This is a job. It's like you came over to my place or came over to do yard work. You can't come over here for me to feed you and bathe you. I'm totally sorry, dude, but that just, like, totally creeped me out a little bit. And then, oh, you want to hang out? Yeah, we'll hang out, and then you eat and drink and and do all that stuff and use me for whatever I have. Thank you. Kudos. And then, oh yeah, your ex-girlfriend's coming over too, and she doesn't like you very much. I didn't want to say this to you, but... That's what's going to happen. I know, by going home, you have nothing to do. Nothing at all. But, staying here? What the hell are we going to do? I don't feel like playing Black Ops. I don't feel like hanging with people. I want to be like... Um... And just be relaxed and cool and not worry about anything or anybody or anything like that at all. Besides, when she comes over, I have a master plan.
I'm gonna include me, her, and lots and lots of alcohol. And since she walked over, it means A, she's going to spend the night, or B, she's going to go home and spend the night at her mom's place. A or B. Or, you know what C is? C usually works out perfectly. She comes over. We do absolutely nothing together a whole time. Just talk about emotions and feelings and all that. Ugh. Sorry. And then she goes home. That's what usually happens. So. I could add more jalapenos to it. Be a hot mother trucker. Oh. I'm sorry, aunt. I didn't uh, answer your question. Because I posted a message on there that just said I recorded this video in one of my comments that I'm trying to get likes and comments on. That I'm posting a nine minute video or so on there. So I'm just trying to stay away from dumb questions right now and dumb answers. So, just giving you a fair warning, because <laughs> I have to do, deal with that all day, every day. It's really boring at times. So, not to blow you off, it's just, I did say I have Zoom Zoom. I'm petting him right now. It's like, come on. <laughs> Ah, oh, I hate dumbass questions. I got this too. It's a loaf of bread for a dollar. A dollar. I hate that. Oh yeah, dollar. So, so if you answer my comment, you got it for a dollar. I'm not gonna answer you. Just a fair warning. I don't even know if people listen, watch the whole video of me ranting on or not. But apparently you, I do have fans. And I have to wait an hour to throw this pizza in. Which is going to take about 12 minutes easily. Even though it says 18 minutes on there. It's a lie. So... One day I'm going to just have a friend stand here and record, and I'm going to make a mean burger. I'm going to make two. It's going to be so good. I got the meat, I got the spices, I got everything, and I can show you. It's going to be the bomb. It's going to be one of those burgers. That will probably out top most burgers. So, I hope you like it. And he's going to have some too. He'll let you know. First time ever. Just need a buddy come over here and record it. And get a test drive. So. Yeah. Pretty much. That's what's on my mind. And I'm doing shorter videos just so that I don't like over record. And then you have to sit there for like 15 minutes. I only do 15 minute videos if they're going to be really excitingly good. Something that you will not hear from. I know I probably piss people off by doing videos and not commenting and sending messages and stuff but the thing is sure you can send like a million freaking uh 
messages, but you don't get replied back as much. And I really don't want to like do 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 enter. Are you gonna send me a message? What's taking so long? What's going on? Hmm. I think this thing broke. So. And I'm not calling you dumb. I'm just saying. I hate dumb questions. And dumb people. I want a girl that's smart. So freaking intelligent that she can run laps around me. And then I have to try to catch up to her. I got a buddy at, my, at work. The last comment. So I got a buddy at my work. And... If he was a girl, I would never have to look again. I would never have to seek out another girl. I would never have to feel like I'm lonely and and have nobody in my life. This dude, if either one of us was... Uh, gay... Or was a girl? I swear to God, I would become bisexual. I would be like Oz, the guy who got that cellmate, and then, well, not really the whole part, but he finds his soulmate and is madly in love, but they're bi, so they can go back and forth to girl to guy I would totally would but we're both straight and we have fun at work together but man we have almost like 90% the same similar interest in almost everything I'm actually shocked And I even told him, dude, if you were gay or a girl, there would be like two peas in the same pod. Or if we were both bisexual, man, I would. That'd be awesome. But. Man. Like, he's as crazy as I am. But, even, like, really cool. If he didn't live all the way up in the Bangkok nowhere, and you live closer to me, that would be crazy. All right, well, I gotta stop thinking about this. Sorry, I said I was going to do a short video, but I started talking about my friend at work, and he's just, oh man, now I'm stuck on him right now. Oh. Sorry, I said, ah, fuck. So, that was what I said. I said the whole thing, but I said it really quietly. Alright, well, I'm going to do a 15 minute video. Even though I said I don't, but that's really cool information that I just shared with you about my buddy. And he's like the only one I know of that I would totally would. No one else. Everyone on my Facebook except 
Well, he doesn't even have a Facebook. So everyone on my Facebook that's a guy, no way in hell. The only way is if my buddy from work was on there, then one. That's the only guy. And my God, I know more secrets about him than than any girl I've ever met. I know a girl from a while back, and the girl that's supposedly coming over, but I don't know for sure. Maybe not, maybe. But I know more things about him than her. Easily. Well, I gotta call it quits. It's almost 60 minutes. Sorry. Bye-bye.